Hello everyone, welcome back to KTB Creates. Today I'm excited because we are doing the Summer on My Mind hop. So I'll talk a little bit about that later. For now, let's go ahead and get into the projects. So for our first project, I have been wanting to do something like this for such a long time. So this is one of those oil drip pans from the automotive aisle at your Dollar Tree. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my Dollar Tree never got those beautiful metal um, circular planter signs. Um, and I'm so jealous of all the people that got to um, use them. So we are going to make our own today. So all you're going to need is that oil drip pan as well as one of the aluminum um, cookie sheets that you could get at the Dollar Tree. So I just went ahead and spray painted the aluminum pan with some metallic silver spray paint. And then I just took the cookie sheet and I just cut it to be like a half circle to fit along the bottom portion of your pan. Now the, the foil pan that I had, I know they have a couple different variations of it, but it, you know, has like little, um, like bubbles on the bottom of it. So I guess things don't stick to it. But I just went ahead and took a little scraper and I just flattened it out a little bit more. Uh, and then what I did was I cut a couple slits at the bottom uh, just so you have something you can wrap it around the edge of your pan, uh, as you see I'm doing here. Just so you have something to hot glue the foil um, down to the pan. Now you don't have to be as particular with the edge because what I ended up doing was edging the whole pan with some nautical rope. So it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but you want to make it as nice as you possibly can. And then all I did was I took my glue gun and I just applied some hot glue along the edge of the pan where the foil meets the pan. Now, I do use uh, Gorilla Hot Glue sticks, so they, they work extremely well and they stick the, to things uh, rather well. So I know sometimes it's hard to glue to plastic, but I never seem to have a problem with these glue sticks. Uh, all the items that, I, that I'm using in this video uh, that you can't purchase at the Dollar Tree, I will leave in my Amazon store. So I'll leave that link in the description box. So go ahead and click on that if you're interested in purchasing uh, anything that I use to create uh, some of these DIYs in this video. Then once you have that all, um, you know, uh, adhered to the oil drip pan, and everything is good to go. I just hot glued a few pieces of fl uh, floral foam to the bottom of the pan, and then I'm gonna take it back to be spray painted again. So we're actually gonna spray paint that foil piece in that um, hammered metallic uh, spray paint. And then the finishing touch is obviously decorating it. But before you go ahead and add your flowers, you're gonna wanna edge the whole uh, perimeter of this with some nautical rope. I'm going to do um, two, you know, two layers around the edge uh, just because I feel like it gave that mu much more of a finished look and it makes it look a lot less like a pan and more like a definitely like a wall decor. Um, so that's all I'm doing here. I'm just going to hot glue it around um, the whole edge of the pan. And this is what it looks like when it's all finished with the rope. Now we're gonna take a piece of rope and I'm just gonna tie two little knots on the end of it. That is gonna be the hanger for your piece to hang up on the wall. Now you want to glue them towards the back of the oil pan so it lays flat against your wall. Um, so that is what I'm doing here. Again, I'm just using hot glue. We're not gonna put anything heavy in here. It's just gonna be a little floral pieces. So. Um, you don't have to worry about that not sticking. Um, so go ahead and apply that with your hot glue and then you're all set to decorate the inside. And these are just floral picks that I had from my stash. Most of them I believe I got at Michael's on clearance, uh, but you can obviously use any kind of floral you have uh, hanging around or you know purchase some from the Dollar Tree. Um, but I am so obsessed with the way that this came out. I love the way it looks. You would never in a million years guess what you use to make it. Um, it is such a beautiful piece. 
So if you're familiar with me and how my channel works, I always love to hear from all of my um, subscribers because I like to know which one is your favorite DIY. Um, this probably is my favorite of the three. So definitely comment in that um, comment section below and let me know which one is your favorite. You guys, today I decided to take part in this Summer on Your Mind hop. So I'm so excited. Uh, the host of the hop is Crafty Lini. She is such a doll and super talented. You have to check out her channel. I will leave her link in the description box below. But let's get into the details of the hop. So all you have to do is click on the link in, the, in my description box, which is gonna take you to the next crafter. And then they're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna wanna watch everybody's video until you come around in a full circle back to me. And that's how you know you've seen everyone's video. You also need to comment on everyone's video. That will give you an entry into our drawing of $80 via PayPal. So you don't want to miss out. So make sure you watch everyone's video and comment in their comment section. The giveaway will close on May 13th at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you get watching all those videos. Enjoy it and have fun. So for our next project, we're gonna make a beautiful summer wreath. So I took this game piece from the Dollar Tree. It's a three-in-one um, game piece, and it's made of wood. So we're gonna set those pieces aside, use that for another DIY. We're just gonna use the board. And I loved this checkerboard pattern. It reminds me of that buffalo check. So we're gonna use that side of the board. You're also gonna need a uh, an embroidery hoop. This, I believe, is a quilt, a quilting hoop. Um, you can often find these at thrift stores. And all I'm going to do is apply uh, some Waverly Antique Wax. I started out using a towel, but then realized that it wasn't spreading as nicely. So a nice trick for that is to use a, a wet wipe or a baby wipe. Um, and this helps to spread, uh, spread it evenly and give nice even coverage to it. So that's all I'm using here to apply my antique wax. So I'm going to do a coat of that on the little board and then also on the embroidery hoop as well. And then next, all you're going to need is a whole grouping of different florals. I love these little fern pieces that I found at the Dollar Tree. Uh, we're going to add lemons to this as well. And I felt like they looked a lot like, like lemon leaves. Um, so when I'm doing any any sort of wreath, I always um, lay everything out like kind of without gluing it or attaching it just to get a feel for the layout that I want to do. I also went ahead and purchased this beautiful ribbon and this bag of artificial lemons off of Amazon. Again, I will leave my store link in the description box below and those will be listed in there as well. This is also a free printable that I printed off of the internet, um, off of DIY Amber's channel. So I'm gonna leave her link as well um, so you can go ahead and check her out because she is amazing too. So all I did here was I'm cutting out the home sweet home portion with um, some decorative scissors so it gives a nice pretty little edging to it. And all we're gonna do is apply that to our little board with some Mod Podge. Now, the trick here to um, keep Mod Podge from, or, or keep your paper from bubbling, is to apply Mod Podge to both the piece that you're applying it to, as well as the paper. Um, so definitely, you want to make sure that you do that. And then I did add Mod Podge all over the wood piece just to protect it a little bit from weather. I'm definitely not a pro at bows, but I'm working on it. So this is the bow that I came up with, with that beautiful ribbon. 
So I would like to invite you, if you aren't already a part of my KTB Greats family, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. It helps my channel grow and uh, it'll notify you whenever I post a new video. And then all you're going to do is attach that little sign to the other side of our sign. And then I just went ahead in and then um, put in like some more greenery and, th and filler kind of pieces a little bit more until I was satisfied with the way it looked. I applied all of that with a combination of floral wire as well as a little bit of hot glue here and there because I definitely like to like reuse my wreaths and you know create new ones and things like that. So I didn't want to put too much hot glue on it. And then when I was satisfied with the floral part of it, that's when I went ahead in and hot glued all of my little lemons to the different areas that I felt like needed a little bit more filler. And I am so excited with the way this looks. I never really got like super into the whole lemon theme, but I thought it's a cute, um, it's a cute idea for a wreath um, to decorate uh, for the summer. So here is what the finished piece looks like. It's so adorable. You could also do this if you don't have an embroidery hoop. You can use obviously like a grapevine wreath or something like that that you have or wrap um, those floral, the wreath uh, forms. You could wrap that with ribbon and use that. So there's many different options if you don't have something like an embroidery hoop. And this last one is super easy. It honestly would take like five minutes for you to create. Um, all I'm going to do is a little basket filled with lavender. So the lavender is from Walmart. I love their lavender picks. And then I'm just using craft paper that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And you're just going to like wrap your little lavender bunches with that paper and then tie it with a little bit of twine. Um, and it just makes such a cute little piece, decorative piece. I imagine I'm going to be putting this on my porch display, my front porch, um, just for some decoration. Once I uh, am able to clean that off and decorate it, that's where it's going to go. Um, but like I said, it's a super easy um, project to create. I didn't use any hot glue or anything like that. You can see it's moving around a little bit. But, um, you know, once you're done, it sits in there uh, really pretty. Uh, I just tied a cute little bow with the twine and you're all set to go. So I did about three bunches of the lavender. I stuck a little floral foam in the bottom of it because we're going to do we're going to put like a little sign in there um, to make it look like, you know, it's like a little market basket that you could purchase lavender at. This is a chalkboard sign that I had in my stash from the Dollar Tree, but you can also use the little um, tags, the chalkboard tags that you can find at the Dollar Tree if you don't have the bigger sign. Uh, but I went ahead and used that larger sign and I just, you know, you can write whatever you want on it, but I just wrote lavender, $5 a bunch. Um just to add some uh, cute decoration to it. I had like a little chalk marker, um, but you can, you know, you can, you can add whatever you want. You can take your spin on it and do whatever, whatever you feel is good for you. Uh, and then once you're done with that and the wording, the next step is to take a wooden dowel and just hot glue that to the back of your sign. I didn't pull off the standing piece of wood just in case I wanted to use this again as an easel. So I just hot glued that wooden dowel right to the back of the sign and that's it. You're really all done. You're going to um, stick that right in your floral foam and you have such a cute little decorative piece for any area of your home or for your front porch for a nice um, spring summer type of a look. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm going to give you one final look of all of the crafts. Be sure to go ahead and visit all eight other crafters that are part of this hop. You're definitely going to want to um, comment on their videos as well to be entered into the giveaway. The next crafter in the series will be linked in my description box below. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Thank you again for joining me today. You are so much appreciated. 
I wish all of you a wonderful week and I will see you all very soon.